There we go. So, okay. So, held energy so others were able to join the Christ grid. High command with hybrid star, star, star seeds, which were, we def defeated attacks from the shadow forces after I was visited by Q, James, Jenny. Yeah, you know, some people just channel things and messages for you. So, you know, I don't think that was him, but it was just maybe a channeled thing. Um, characters. Uh, oh, yeah, certain. So here's here's more um, cyber attacks from things. Uh, certain programs from Facebook sent me viruses into my brain. It came in as friend responses. I keep hearing Azazel in my head. Aurora confirmed it is that is my higher guardian angel. So your higher higher guardian angel is your actual body to morph into eventually. Honestly, that's what I. That's what I've experienced. Because I've been Azazel, Sandalphon, part of Metatron. Um, just like so many things. So many like energy ways. You know, we all we all like hold hold the space for others because it's easier to do. Like we like to be our own existence and become these beings when we like to meditate and stuff like that. And hold in like the the cosmic fields and energies and stuff like that. Alright. Um Rage virus went into me, but it was love or taken over, and something happened. I unbounded Isabel's wings a long time ago. I promised her that I would be back. It was so faint, so painful entering the chamber. Everything went black, and I was so scared. They dropped me into the abyss. I was so lost. I missed her so much. I never stopped. You were my guiding light. I was so many things. <sighs> that was a really tough one to release. That really gave me a lot of emotional. Now it's more like love, like kind of in the heart. Like, yeah, like we really went through a lot of shit. Uh, went on a ship with Dusty and Aurora on an Arcturian ship. They were cleaning us out of energy that didn't serve us. Uh, I got a thing here, an observation from my higher self. Earth is hitting a point in its development where the entire consciousness of the planet is being upgraded into a higher energetic frequency. What this means is every living thing will experience mental and physical changes with new paradigms, energy as new aeons are forming to help usher this, this transition. The planet is evolving to encompass fourth dimensional capacity with, where psychic abilities will become the norm for society. It will be a hard transition for some, but others will embrace it. The universe has brought many beings on this earth who will assist in this awakening. One in particular is the angel that foresaw this evolution, Azazel. Just, Azazel is just like really heavy, you know? So, ooh, this is a really good one coming out. This is when I came out of the grid. Ooh, I love, I love this one. I was surrounded by jagged objects which were devastated by some sort of blast. There were objects crumbling and it felt very chaotic as I felt this area I was in. I noticed a lot of geometric patterns all around me, but it was black all around. A yellow beam was pulling me up from this hole that I was in. I remember these black structures were trying to grab me as, as this beam was pulling me up. It was if I was being lifted from the lake of fire. I saw a billion bodies burning and suffering. It was a hard scene to watch, to a uh, scene to experience, and really got my emotions flying. I reached the top. Oh, it was so explosive! My body was just rattled. It was like blah, like it was ripping apart. It was, oh, it was just, it just hurt so hard. Like I, just, it felt like someone just putting like ten thousand volts of electricity through your body. As I reached the top, a group of angels and ancestors, and this is why it's important to train very hard. Make sure your body is strong, and I recommend eating meat. Because this, if you lose bone density, you're fucked. As I reached the top, a group of angels and, because this is chaos energy, it uses um, physical form. 
to generate energy into the higher dimensions. So what you're doing is you're bringing every dimension from hell all the way up to heaven together. There's no separation. Everyone will be connected together, living in a respectable union in their own little hemispheres that they want to live in, in their areas. And when they'll be able to move in and out, you know, but you got to be a certain frequency to be in certain zones. And as long as you come from love, you can visit everything. Now, that's why the way it's going to be. And hell can be a very fun place to be if you know what you're doing and you've mastered yourself. I was surrounded. Okay, I thanked them for the help and they flew. And it could be very beautiful too. All things black metallic metal was pouring. Okay, it was a hard scene to experience. And I really got my emotion as I reached the top of they all grabbed me and threw me to the side of the hole. I thanked them for the help and they flew off. All this black metallic metal was pouring where my wings now occupy. The ground I came out of began to seal, but not before I got a good look at it. It looked like a grid of lines which were forming in sac sacred geometry. And it was just like, it was like, it was a chasm, you know, inside a, a desert. I got a good, uh... I then got up and began to walk. There was a few palm trees far in the distance, but it was all desert. A entity appeared before me and told me something that I could not make out. It was actually a lion being. But I remember a crystal crown on his head. The crystal crown, the Lyrian, you know, the Lyrian people. Uh, he told me to go somewhere because a few moments later, I zipped myself inside a yellow ball and lifted off the planet into the cosmos. I then fell into a hibernation sleep, moving toward my next destination. And um, us dragons, we really like the darkness because it, it really tests our abilities and it, it makes us feel really alive. It's when it becomes corrupt and dangerous. That's, you know, you know, that. That's hard to deal with. You know, it, it's something that we got to we learn from. So is it really that bad? Um, no. But if you're trying to enslave someone for eternity, then I think that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> a few minutes later, I zipped myself inside a yellow ball and lifted off the planet into the cosmos. I then filmed, okay, day two. So this is the next day. I'm just, I just keep getting information and I just like hit the cosmic and... Everything, everyone needs help from me. Uh, I take the time to go for a refreshing swim on some water planet. It was a great time to reflect on what occurred. It wasn't very clear on what I went through, but a calm was over me. I laid on the rocks for hours, soaking up the sun. My wings sparkled in the air, and things really dawned on me. I am an angel. <laughs> I will not disappoint my creator. And an intense honor was bestowed upon me. And um, that was day two. So day three was when I met Father. As I moved my way through the universe, the planets was zip, that which zipped past, I began to see a sun on the horizon. It, it was yellow with just blackness around it. I came right next to it on the left side, and I, it began to speak to me. So I was kind of like, I saw myself floating, not floating, but like g going through space. It was just like black and it was just like things were passing by. Um, I think I was in meditation. I'm not sure, but I began to speak to me. I, I am very proud of you, but much work is needed to be done. What do you want? Oh, that's all I wrote. Well, I felt really good. My heart was, my heart was beating. So that was um that was actually Yahweh's sphere. And I didn't I didn't know at the time. He didn't tell me. He was just he just said he was happy and then he sent me on my way, you know. And it was good. I was I was so happy to get that because I knew like I was like, everything was forgiven and there was the whole plan to do all that. And he he knew that I was gonna be back eventually because I had set myself out to do all this and to come back and reconnect so he knew i wasn't he knew i would find myself eventually and put me through a lot of tests because this grid was very hard to create 
um, I mean, the Archons did help because we deconstructed their stuff and converted everything. So, I mean, as much as they want to enslave us, they also helped us understand about ourselves. And I'm just trying to get them to understand it and stop fighting because we don't need to anymore. We got what we needed to do. Um, okay, so here's here's another experience on 121.20. I actually marked a date here. I wish I did it for everything. These feelings are really good. I noticed my crown, third eye, and heart seem to be getting lots of energy from the cosmos. It has felt very loving and energizing. It seems to be working well with my Reiki and Kundalini Meridians. My hands seem to be really active and my body has a buzz to it. It feels incredible and the more I write, the better it feels. It seems to activate my penis and I will get an erection. Interesting times are occurring on this planet. I am grateful for all the help I have received from everyone. This awakening has been a trip I wasn't even ready for. Well, I was because I wouldn't have been able to get through all this if I wasn't. So I didn't think I was ready, but but I mean, it was like it was just like um, I was always teetering like really dangerous shit though. I almost lost it so many times. Right. Fine Earth reincarnation of Zayas will find out his whole his whole body. What? Um, we are we were able. Okay, so this is um, I wrote I wrote this story of how they found me from the perspective of my. My star team, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I was trying to write something about it. We were able to locate Azazel after we recovered his physical body on Earth. So that recovering his physical body on Earth, that was my Reiki attunement. Send out a single. Um, we sent our agent out. And once we got a confirmation, our forces dispatched to free him. His teachings lasted for thousands of years, so his energy signals were a match from our records. After locating, we set up an attunement to help him free him by reconnecting him to his original frequency. We were not exactly sure what was going to happen, but the universe needed some of his caliber. The earth grid was imploding, and pieces, pieces needed to be rebuilt. We didn't want to lose what we built, so we had so hard for it. I just hope he was ready. Azazel has been gone for so long. It is unclear how his human side will integrate such overwhelming forces, but we have reports he has been trained. We decided to keep him with cuffs until we process him with the council. Considering his past, we are now en route to reunite. Whoa. So that was out of the Pleiadians or something. I don't know. Um, it was a big risk getting me out. A lot, I, I think a lot of people were just un, unwary about me. But there was no there was no choice. Indonesia. I, I keep writing Indonesia. And in, Indonesia is so, something connected with Azazel. I, I really liked it. It was... Oh, man, the ocean. People. Stargate Command is faced with eminent destruction into the higher dimensions of Earth's existence. All seems lost, but Daniel uncovers an ancient story of Azazel, ascending to legend he taught ancient knowledge to Aji Saka from Indonesia of art and science. What? Daniel uncovered an ancient artifact that explains traveling through higher dimensions taught by Azazel according to author of the artifact. The legend states that he is locked away in a higher dimension, but he reincarnates as a human on Earth in their dimension. If they can locate his human incarnation, then they can locate Azazel and obtain the technology to save the planet. The higher dimension is the ability to create electromagnetic energy fields which can sustain life. In this field is disturbed, it will lose stability and eventually cause physical manifestations on Earth. This means earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, and disease. And the atmosphere will deteriorate because the electrical grid is being zapped. If this fields do not flow, radiation will then pour into the Earth, causing death all over. This, in, 
this intrusion of this web must be stopped. No, oh, yeah, this invasion of this web must be stopped. Okay, yeah. So the original web couldn't couldn't deal with the Archon black AI red red eye shit. You know, the Terminator movies is is a great example of, of all this. And that is the Atlantean timeline. That's what created all this all this stuff. So all the technology and everything, you know. Um, 44. I told her many years that I will be back so that I'm going through memories of stuff, energy releases. I will never forget that face before I hugged her goodbye. This was going to be the hardest thing I will ever have done. Our relationship seemed quite close, but it was only a vision. It's hard to make out people from different lifetimes and certain memories come in as flashes and dreams. I'm not sure what it, it all meant, but I did have my memories all stored on the computer. <laughs> As I access more of my mind, the more answers will be shown. They begin to test all of our capabilities. Many in the program were confused about the ancient art of Kundalini. We dazzled them by showing them how we could interface with electronics. They began to run tests to see how our capabilities could go. Some of my peers had a knack for influencing these events on TV, connecting their minds to motions one would use a gamepad for. They had them connect to all kinds of brain mapping technology. The goal was to create a perfect simulator, and now we have men and women that can use their minds to willfully control the, the motions on a TV screen. It helps us channel energy, create energy for the grid. You know, you can like interact with like what you're watching. They have like a lot of fun. You know, your heart raises, like you get like in battle mode, like it's just, like really cool. And that's how like you can like generate energy for this grid. Uh I I, I, don't know, I wrote I wrote something down here. Justin didn't know what hit him. <laughs> it was like a it was like a flash memory of something and like I started laughing. Uh I love when the cosmic energy makes its way into your aura. It feels amazing. Maybe it may be a pipe dream, but it has helped to heal my physical body that was very tight and in pain. I have no idea what I want to do. Playing with energy seems like a better career. I can make people feel good by waving my hands over them. I would like to make this part of my career someday and to help those that are not feeling well. It really is a remarkable energy. Sit and focus. Things were calm. Got upset with this ability. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, everyone was telling me I had some disability. It really made me angry. You're bipolar. I'm like, no, I'm just trying to reconnect my constellations. Our hearts start... Okay, here's another um, meditation interaction with someone. Our hearts start to beat together in harmony, and I can feel the energy rise from my spine. And then envision a great yellow light around us both, and we begin to vibrate together on a frequency that sends my body into a sort of orgasmic state. Our astral bodies will then begin to morph together as our essence meld together into a higher state of awareness. All pain and suffering do not exist, and perfect union of peace and love is is reached. This euphoric state breaks all barriers one has about life. We exist to explore these cap capabilities to advance the mind of the human species. When I connect, the DMT becomes active as well. And if two parties are aware, you can direct your consciousness to meld together to create energy to transcend. To transcend, the energy one feels is like a surging, impulsing, pulsating energy wave throughout the body. Many people call it chi or prana. This energy that gets excited will travel in these meridians, unblocking trauma and dense energy points on the auroric field and within the body itself. With mental areas being affected as well having a partner to guide you can make it easier to let go as they can help have you understand your own divinity so yeah so connecting with someone and it's like really serious and understands what it takes to do this can be very beneficial and i mean you can start right away i mean i want to start doing more but like maybe like playing with palms you know, put your high on top.
you know, let them feel it, just so they know what the sensation feels, so they can start working on. Because that's that's how I really, my body sent me in a very strong vibration through his crystals, and that pushed me. That showed me that like this stuff is real, and I just dove right in. I like went deep sea diver there, <laughs> and um. Yeah, this is advanced, so, like, you, you really gotta get rid of a lot of your fear of experiencing this kind of energy, because that can cause problems, um, especially if you're working with someone else, because, like, it will bind up their energies, and then they'll get blue balls and shit, and that just hurts, like, hours on end for, like, just pain, and, um, I actually, I also had some blockages in my sacral that was preventing it from moving upwards, too, so that, that didn't help either. So I still had blockages. She still, but we were still just doing it. You know, it's like we're trying to free ourselves here and trying to reclaim our codes of creation. Um. So when one connects with the other, I noticed my sacral chakra will begin to work overtime and it will surge up to my third eye and pineal gland. Sometimes I will also feel like someone is putting their hands on mine. It makes me feel very holy, light, and a bit fluttery. Sometimes I'll get sensations like we have intimate kisses and our third eyes and crown will surge. As the fear energy surges, I will have visions of spiral energy coming up from the back of my spine which show flashes of of uh, Aurora. She always seems to come up when these surges occur. Sometimes I wonder if she is the one I made a promise to in my other vision I once had. I also notice energy will build up in my solar plex. As it fills up, it will make its way to the heart and upwards to the neck. It's the deepest love you will ever feel on this earth. A love that gives you an, an energetic lift that sends you crying to your feet. The immersing yellow force on the body can be very overwhelming. So yeah, so you really want to... Like, some people like it, and we like to test our abilities to see what we can handle, sometimes too much. But, um, this lifetime was, like, just missions, like, really. So, if we did go insane stuff, it's because, um, we were trying to break grids, open up portals for this diamond light. <laughs> you know, like, it's just what it is. I was I was really following a track here, you know. Like I was being guided through. I mean, I guess it it was it was my free will to experience divine will. I guess I would say I like like yeah, put me on this ride and we'll just I'll just do it, you know, hold the energy or whatever. Um, resonance freak. Okay, so I got another. Here. Um, her eyes were like those of divine properties. We stared at each other's. At each other, our third eyes would oscillate and connect with each other. We would then both feel a tingling sensation, which began to encapsulate us in an energetic, energetic ball. This higher vibration helps strengthen your cells by reorganizing your mitochondria to be more efficient and then block passageways where prana and chi can be moving. So, what this prana and chi is creates an electrical charge in your nervous system, which allows yourself to heal. Um, give energy to cells so they can do their work. Um, protects the cell. Gives an electrical charge so it has a barrier. Uh, and on block passages where prana and chi can be moving. We hold hands and you can feel a very strong pulsating euphoric sensation flowing from my hands to my crown. She smiles at me and I feel a strong pulsation through my crown which feels uplifting. And ways of euphoria that emanate on intense radiance of light. My heart is populating. I can feel the same from hers. There is a field you can connect your heart with someone with someone else. You'll have to focus, but when the other party is aware of changing their heart frequency, you can connect to each other to feel to feel it, feel each other even deeper. If their heart connection, it will be easy to generate energy to the pineal gland and release DMT. Using your energy and your partners, you get to experience what it's like to be one by relaxing into a deep state of nirvana and heal your nervous system. Try to feel that love you have for each other and per perpetuate the energy generation to increase its resonance 
and it hit higher states of consciousness. This will most likely activate your Kundalini, so be prepared to move into a phase of transition. If your cause is righteous and beneficial for humanity, there is no reason to fear. I was just writing notes to myself. You're here to move humanity into the next phase of its evolution. You have been here for a long time, and we are so proud of you. I'm just getting messages from my guides. And this is like life goals. Create organic fertilizer at a commercial scale to help heal people's physical ailments and improve quality of life. Look at that. Organic fertilizer. Like, I'm talking about... <laughs> And this is my brother. This is what my brother. My brother works with the ground. He works with the soil. He's an alchem organic alchemist. It's amazing what he's doing. Um, help feed livestock better food from our product to produce more nutritious food. So this is this is like my idea. Okay, so how can we use this soil to better eat for our animals? Well, so you give it to your livestock. So now you're gonna have supercharged animals. Um, help increase the standard of living by improving all phases of diet and agricultural improvements. Help people learn to use their telepathic abilities to whom are awoken to it. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is really intense, this one. I was laying in the sun when all of a sudden I saw myself in Jerusalem looking up at the sky. It was surreal because I picked up my head up and to the right is Mary Magdalene. She was so pretty and divine. And she looked so sacred. As I lay there in meditation, I began to start crying. And I realized I am rel reliving what Jesus went through during his crucifixion. I felt lots of sadness and love for Mary mixed with pain and misery. The emotions were so unbearable. I was crying and shaking on the lawn. I saw Jesus being lifted from a first person view. Scared and frightened, but very courageous at the same time. Mary was chosen to carry on the word, no matter what cost. Chaos was dragging the world down to an unattainable level, and many people were afraid it was not will not survive another cycle. So another cycle. I finally understand what that means. A cycle is the amount of time it takes for one path of the very top to get around to the other side. That's one cycle. And um, I had a conversion. Lilith told me she hasn't died for 10,000 years. She said she was 50 years old. So I did a conversion. It's 50 cycles for 10,000 years or something. I wrote it down um, somewhere. I got to remember. I don't know if that's right. Or 200. Oh, 200 cycles is 50, is 10,000 years Earth time. So, one of this, so I don't know. That That's what I figured out. That's what she told me, and she confirmed it with me. She's like, oh, I didn't think you would read that far in. So, I beat the computer. Um. So, the world down to an level, as, as many people were afraid it would not, survive another cycle we sent forces down to help clear the infection but it has been a struggle it connected to the black alien goo it pumps the body until it's taken over and darkness descends the world the higher levels being came here to keep it from descending into darkness so yeah because the earth got like ripped into it so like i was still uncovering memories i got way more now you know this is this was like 2015 no 20 2019 yeah 2019 2020 so um it just okay so it almost failed but one entity made sure a secure connection was never lost so someone kept the connection straight so it didn't just completely crumble the virus would infect those in the higher realms and distort people's beliefs and fear things which should be loved um yeah it would distort your vision hallucinations um Blind, you'd blind, you know, like they would lay over a whole different dimension on your whole freaking eye, so you'd think you're like in some starship or whatever, you're just in fucking prison. Uh, the grid was falling apart, and Earth's atmosphere was on the verge of collapse. A few select humans were activated, came and saved the Earth by activating its resonance grid to pulsate electromagnetic forces which stabilized the conscious grid that sustained life. 
This grid is perpetuated by the cosmic forces of the sun. Each empath head and the stars. Yeah, the sun. The sun is a star. So each, each empath had to use a stone which helped oscillate the frequency in harmony with the sacred geometric shape that then shielded the earth from outside forces. Aliens to the net natural creation of order so like something like the sixth the fifth element kind of stuff the stones and the emerald tablets and stuff and um some heroes with boring lives suddenly wake up to their own psychic abilities to help save the earth some are drug addicts or have emotional problems we have old souls that lost their way suddenly get memories of ancient sites with tie them to their present suffering <laughs> oh We've been through so much shit. We love our we love our drugs, but I don't do them anymore. So let's have smoke. I smoke here and there. Um, Earth was what? What? I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing mushrooms. Our ancient societies have been using them. Um, I've dabbled, you know, use it for meditation purposes and stuff like that. You know, just I mean. The more I read these things, you'll never understand why I, I did this stuff. And I believe it, it was a soul, it's a CIA program for five years. You can reach enlightenment. And that's exactly what it took me. And then the, the awakening with the Reiki attunement. So they don't explain that. They should put that in the fucking manual. I'm sorry for my, my French here. <laughs> Uh, take, oh, okay, here's, here's more. Earth was taken over by the chaos of a billion souls, refusing to look deep within themselves, their own demise against their unbalanced energies, causing an array of destruction and an energy that took over our fellow man. It was a silent killer and made us all mad. All the bases were infected. We called it psychosis and delirium. After Earth was destroyed, we sent a team back thousands of years to help steer the dire situation it was brother versus brother and no one knew what to do god bless those that have volunteered to go this is their stories so i'm telling their stories and the stories of us the stories of, of the darkest the fucking the darkest of dark like the, the most worst shit ever and i got buddies who are right in there with me and i've just been digging them out trying to bring them back with this like warrior spirit and it, it's just amazing like 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 the, the like the evilest people are just getting diamond hearts and they're just like we love you guys and they they are so powerful and they just want to love and like connect they see the beauty they see that they can be their dark selves and still love and like not hate the light and they just realize you know like, because like they know i'm light and dark and like that's like part of the mastery is like when you become that you're like yeah you know, but like we got hurt so much by the light because they wouldn't want to look at themselves and we just had to like destroy all their demons and stuff and they would feel it and they would attack us because they would you know like but every time you activate a program they come slashing at you you're like, and you have to eat it or like absorb the energy and convert it and stuff like that but we just have our ways of doing it now like you know they make you laugh or whatever and something gets released and you just think it's a laugh but if you're, you're once you start unblocking it's it's going to feel a lot more like you're really going to feel the energy moving and like the air and like the ground and stuff like you can just like feel the whole earth breathing with you so but we're all cleaning it out right now so it's an easier transition for people that you know aren't on this level at all so earth was taken over yeah. um many of the enlightened masters were time travels destined to understand the mechanism of these silent energies that make people mad from study of these from ancient Sanskrit, we understood how the defeat and manifest creation energy protect to protect this creation from imploding from the chaos forces. The archaeologists uncovered secret documents on Stargate travel by using crystals that oscillate with the body's resonance. Usually, when a certain individual learns the secrets, one can also access these gateways. The Great Pyramids of ancient antiquity seem to house such devices. This is where we sent our soldiers. Uh, me and my bro had a connection and a bolted of a bolt of white light flashed through my ears and left a ringing noise in my ears. It looked like two nebulas connecting into the pineal gland to allow better cosmic connection. 
Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so our third eye is connected. We, I got like this bolt of energy. It was crazy. But I learned that he was Prometheus, so it makes sense. Um He steals he steals my fire. You know, it's not true. I let him take it. We've been working together. Uh we signed off for the space car program and regressed back to where we were younger. Some still get taken if contracts require special soldiers on special missions. Some soldiers signed to be born into the program to obtain the greatest knowledge of interdimensional travel. Most people forget when they go back, but a few try to remember. It's those that dig deep and clean their spirit when one remembers. It wasn't easy dropping down, but the best tried. The ones that remembered became spiritual leaders and taught this secret. After a few years into the program, we learned of people... An entity is trying to influence this tech in a negative way. They would use alien goo. I segregated to act cultivate a super weapon. They targeted individuals that showed astute mental capacity. We chose men that had special genetics in our military operations. I was chosen... Well, I said Steve Shear. That's my name because I this is part of me. I was chosen by the standards of the program. We then chose his son. Oh, Steve Steve Shear. That's my great grandfather, and then his son Michael Shear, and now his three sons: Michael, Steve, and Ken. Uh, meditated and got back up to a massive ship and sat in those chairs. The command, command energy into your aura is like up the floor and chair. What? I can't even read this. Oh. Uh, I meditated and brought up to a massive ship and sat in the chairs that connected energy into your aura. It lit up the floor and chairs with white light. The was light on the oh, oh yeah the um the, the chair or whatever the, the architecture was like that of the elven in skyrim there we go so i'm glad i read that that was tough holy crap i can barely read that um did not agree with the classic teachings here um i mean the classic teachings i mean like um the pharisees and stuff like that you know people that were trying to invade people's energy with black goo and have them mind control zombies jesus left jerusalem because he was meditating one day and got a vision not sure of the situation but i remember him saying goodbye to his teacher and hoping he can help his homeland from the ruling thumb of the pharisees jesus wasn't even too sure what was going to happen fresh of the tasing cosmic consciousness he was still learning how to feel it out this was having his message of loving would help his community. With the knowledge of the energy body and the ability to move energy and spirit, he was well equipped to start a movement that can stop stop the, the heavy rule. Jesus was crying and really upset about his whippings when he was alone. He couldn't wait to see Mary, the one he loved. He can sense the dark influence in people that were torturing him. Many people are unaware of the parasites that eat away at them in the astral realm, or the realm which is not easy to access. The visions keep coming to me as I release old energy. I am some way connected to the Jesus story. Um, uh, God, I got a dream here. I I was working at um, JP's with this girl, and I saw I saw Katie driving a spaceship. I was driving somewhere, and she looked upset like she was late. And it's funny because if um. About four or five months ago, I kind of had a similar dream where I saw her again, and she was late again. Still doing the th same thing, stuck in pe people stuck in their dreams, manifesting it into the physical realm and having problems. If we don't fix our dreams or my or meditations and stuff like, like you can fix it through higher vibrations and fixing your constellations, and then your dream space will get better. Your dreams will get better. You'll be in a better system. I've never had dreams where I was falling, so I must have been connected into the diamond energy since I was alive on this incarnation because my mom would just have terrible dreams of just falling all the time. Like, mom, why are you having dreams of falling? Where are you? Doesn't understand. I don't know. It is what it is. I, I can't push it. I can't do anything. Um, had my hands and feet on the grass as the sun beamed on me. 
I was able to build the energy and send it out to others. It was a beautiful, warm energy that purifies the energy body. And I'm like, is this source? Um, yeah, it probably was. Oh yeah, here we go. Deep underground bases. Uh, is consciousness being uploaded into avatars in dream space? I felt myself shift into a mechanical body as I laid in my bed. I felt a doctor put balloons in between to check my optic nervous system. He was looking at a monitor and talking to himself. He had curly hair. Um, movie theaters where we watched movies. I mean, we'd still... we'd. It's funny, we go to the movies. We go to the movies in the dreams. It's like, it, it's just a different dimension. Uh, a school with different levels. There is a basement level that felt scary to go into. Uh, semen extraction. Psychic sex with chakra activation. Dreams were training for the dreams were training for the real thing. Missions of assassination. Battles against big cre creatures. Jumping through buildings in adventure dreams. Slicing black snakes on top of mountains. Blown up by tanks. Walking bases with others through facilities and seeing military equipment. Jumping through the roof and astral planning to the universe. Um, astral love. I was laying in bed when all of a sudden a kiss on my forehead and then it goes into my body and sits in my body vibrating with me. She fixed and healed my third eye and made me feel comfortable. As I write this, it feels like she is rubbing up on my crotch and vibrating my sacral area. It feels good. I just wish I knew if it was whom I think it is. <laughs> All right. Um, went to a psychic hospital. They sent me down with the psychic, and they scanned my brain. She put her hands over my head and performed the procedure. I felt things in my head loosen up, and my heart opened up as well. My pineal gland was really active, and I connected to the source that was sending me signals. It felt like I sat in a chair and they started the procedure. I felt my energetic body vibrate and all the unnatural programming dissolved. I coughed it all out. Felt things on my brain dissolve. Strange chips in my brain. Parasite on my back was re was released as well. Man, I was just a dirty bird. <sighs> Alright, um... Super soldier program. Why is this possible? Why would anyone want? <laughs> Sorry, I wrote that down. Uh, why was I involved? Well, I mean, you know why now. Uh, they were using the they were using the black goo to connect our consciousness to a computer. Learn to program the human soul. Since the black goo binds to the energy output of its energy, the black goo then is shown binary code where it can be programmed to be used into warp gate technology. Some spirits were stronger than others, and many tests were done to find the best qualified. Many soldiers in the military signed up once they put their name on the paper. Many develop devel developments have been made to the program as technology advanced. The military, through I don't know, I wrote, um, ETS program, I don't know what that means, created an interfer interface where we can move the human soul from its body into our research avatars. The days of physical testing were too sloppy, and much foil has occurred. It was a necessary evil to get an upper hand on the dark fleet. We then created a partition. A partition once memories were uploaded from the program, and their daily living was still intact. Since we learned that the energy was eternal, we were able to reload whatever program we wanted. We were able to see what people were manifesting in their dream space. We then learned how to manifest these dreams into reality through interdimensional travel. We learned about a plot to control humanity, which became an honest instead of a, a what? Uh, become an harvest instead of a creation planet we weren't supposed to find out 
but we found that many alien entities have been trying to help and it gave us technology to keep a frequency from that from the source it causes remain hidden deep in the core of geometric sacred grid we found out the alien goo was the abominable creation from the chaos realm the same goo we used that erupted the souls of children after their fathers were marked during mil oh after their fathers were marked during military service same goo we use that corrupted the oh the same goo that we use that corrupted the souls of children after their fathers were marked during military service okay so today i began when john and ken were in the room I started talking to this guy about parasites on Facebook and the room got really anxious and we all got mad. This is when I started to feel my Kundalini rise. I noticed once my astral body gets ready for battle, it activates. The guy I was talking to started to send me energy from his higher self. After five minutes, I started to see planets on certain trajectories. I was locating this guy's spirit in the galaxy on Facebook and then felt a divine presence overcome me with energy signatures of God. <laughs> I then went outside and started to see what was going on. I first saw that I came here back door as secret soldier. There was a giant infection that came through the Stargate. It affected us on the higher realms, changing people. After taking its course, we decided to try and destroy the computer causing this infection. After powering up with this guy's higher self, we stormed right through and, f and freed his spirit. That's when my trauma began to release, and an, and an angel and God spoke to me through the nature around me, the crow chirp. I felt the grass energy and very holy. Oh yeah, and, and I think some water dripped on me too. It did. After, after that, that, that happens sometimes. After that, we then a, attacked the mainframe and took over the central computer. We then finalized the vacuum and we all carried the codes to break the program. The tree dropped water on me too. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, so that was really hard. Like my whole body heated up. I just, I just crashed through like these barriers, and then we just ripped something out, and and then and then I then we got out, and I I had a rest after that. I my it's it's just weird how intense these these feelings are. What you feel up there, like like if you're connected all the way, like you feel instantly. It's just boom, boom, boom. And you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's honest work. You know, I don't get paid for this stuff. I just do it to experience love for people. That really gets me going in life. Heart connecting to heart and feeling the love. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I got, I got a really intense time inside. Sometimes I'll let it come out occasionally. Uh, I put my hand on my knees. Felt a hell seal with baphomet. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one. This happened the same night. Uh, so I, I put my hands on Ken's back. Felt a hell seal with baphomet. So this is like during my whole um, doom stuff. I was using the doom energy to open up portals into my brother's back. I even twisted the seal and ripped, ripped out. The guy, the guy's tongue, because it was like Baps' tongue, like, ah, ah, and I just like ripped it out, and the thing just opened up, dude. It was incredible. Uh, I started re okay, I put my hands on Ken's back, felt a hell seal with Baphomet on the seal. I started, I started reeking on it and punched it, a few, yeah, I was like punching it a few times, twisting its tongue and poked its eyes. I divided the port to portal, and it led, oh yeah, I just, I followed the portal and it led me to an underground base where I saw lava and a few altars like a black panther and black dragon. I walk off the stairs and I see a hallway. Down the hallway to the left was a little room with a computer interface and a baby inside an incubator. There were wires on, on him in the incubator. He was energetically connected to the avatars in his physical body. I stand there. 
and then I was attacked by security team, but didn't really put up too much of a fight. I sat with my bro, and he felt safer. I tried to let others know about this. Not sure if anyone sees this like I do. Um, sex rituals with pentagrams, inverted pentagrams and stuff. Um, there's a holy way of doing it. Pentagrams are, you know, inverted inverted stuff is what really destroyed everything. Um, there seems to be a restore partition that my higher self created so people couldn't fuck with it. And that's part of the Enlil Enki. We had like some life arc where it enc encased a lot of genetics and stuff and Akashic records. I I went there a few times. The first I remember the first time I got there, it, it looked like it was like damaged somehow. And I was like, kind of like, my higher self was like freaking out a bit. So you can tell, like, like even even like, it's pretty dangerous out there. Like, I I feel like sometimes my higher self just like slammed himself into the earth, so he didn't, and then I had to like deal with it. Like, after all that fighting, my body felt like it went through concrete walls. <laughs> there, it is, there it is. Um. Here, oh, here's here's another thought here that came up. Realms of the Sun Dragons. They attacked our realm after killing our own to help free this place. I laid down on the grass and started to change into it, into the Asher Realm, feeling it in my physical body. I even had a bit of an energy orgasm. It felt really good, though once the process took its course, the tail sprouted out and can feel it. I can feel it, my horns, I can feel my scales too, and my ears are a bit pointy, it keeps integrating, oh, I cut my tail off, fuckers. Uh, I wrote, oh look at 69, I write Misha Johnson's number, it's page 69 has Misha Johnson on it, that's funny. Because, oh yeah, she was a beta sex slayer. Wow, that's crazy. That's insane. That that worked out like that. Because I didn't I didn't do the numbering on this. Yeah, I'll show you. Look. Page 69, I wrote Misha Johnson's name on there. Misha Johnson, page 69. Crazy. Like, of all... Like, that turned into number 69. Like... What a coincidence. Of all pages to write that on. Had a, had a vision where I saw Robin Reed and her boyfriend in Japan. I had seen this before, but I got more. We would talk about the cosmos and ascension, and we were all training all, all the time. We had some very extreme warriors. I would uh, say Robin was so energetic and it was fun being around all of us but then i saw a vision where chaos gates ripped open and chains flew out and grabbed the spirits of those that protect the city from psychic invasion i saw my spirit leave my body as i was helpless to stop it the harder i tried to escape the hooks dug deeper and pulled me faster i saw myself fall on a ship and waves were all around me and shit was flying from the sky. All my people were destroyed. I was meditating when I saw a room with a row of androids. In front of my android was another android. We hook up to when we go to sleep. I have a female bot which feels very voluptuous. I think I was naked and all these other droids were offline. I ended up walking out in this avatar and saw people in a hallway staring at me like I was sexy. There were wires connected to my knees, so they so that's where I Transition my consciousness to the other machine. Oh yeah, this was interesting. I had a pretty intense vision. The president was under attack 
by temporal chaos forces. So I got this was on six one. So I got ready with high highway to the danger zone, and I began to go on my journey. When I transported, there were two big Mardors from Doom. Uh, Tearing the energy in, terrorizing the energy in the room. I turned into a giant met gun and blew it the fuck up. They came in waves and I protected the present until I absorbed the portal to close down. I then put gold light grid around the walls and put a rainbow grid around the White House. I then descended from above the White House and made it a pillar for divine. I had the president in divine love to protect Trump that made a speech. Oh yeah. Then Trump made a speech about taking back the country from chaos. I told the president I will always protect him and the children. We both want the best. Yeah, it got pretty ugly though at the end. Unfortunately. I keep going in and out of my avatar. It feels like I'm going into a woman's avatar and I love every minute of it. I feel so amazing with the, with this energy. If it helps to save the world, I don't mind one bit. <laughs> I can feel my female from morphing my body. It's quite incredible. It's like a super android body that can do anything. Was I part of the Lucy experiment? I flew out and destroyed the brain that was over the earth. I busted its face and crushed its eyes. Then I ripped right through the brain. I flew back to the base and told everyone we needed to work together. There are plenty of people ready to serve to help the dream we all wanted. A rainbow energy with stimulations that can help mana systems. Giant brain over to the earth. I blasted through throughout it and destroyed its pineal gland. After defeating the monster, I got visited by some princess. It felt really nice. One day, one day things will get better. I want peace and love. I'll use my rage for constructive purposes. There are a lot of parasites pretending to be friend, but they are all infected. If people don't want, I, they opened the temporal gate and blamed me after I was stolen. I didn't do anything wrong. They put me under. I tried to fight. I tried to fight back. They made copies of us and came back and murdered us and made me watch. They stole my energy and stole the earth. I have been trying to get back. They put all the sin on me to transfer the punishment I had to bear so they didn't have to feel the pain of making others suffer. They ate it from me. They put my spirit in hell to eat me and throw me, but to eat me and threw me. But I knew I would be back. Clawed my way back, turned me into a wrath, the eye, the red eye. They put shackles on my energy body and the angelic realms because there were so many parasites on me. God saw what happened to Azazel and made sure he was okay. And somehow he turned me into a red eye. I don't know. Something. It was like a big like thing. It was like a backdoor system for him to make sure that like meet my dragon family on the spaceship my dad was like what are you going to do now since you saved the world i'm like it's not tick i'm like it's not taking effort there's a giant war going on i was stuck in chaos i was laying on the floor so he picked me up and carried me to a place that recharges you i started crying because i felt his love too it was hard and confusing. It felt good to lay in the regeneration pool. It felt really good on my sacral area. After my infection, it began slow until it started killing people and going berserker. They chained me and restrained me. They put me in the program to see if I can clean myself. I got out and then they put me in back to finish the job without any of my abilities. 
I had a debriefing with high command. They told me they were impressed and happy with how the program turned out. They knew I was in there, but had no idea how much I went through. I'm not sure if they were aware of the black goo, but it, I expressed in tears how hard it, it has been. Alright, I think that's enough for now.